Ni no Kuni, Tower of Fantasy. The 38th Ragnarok Online 5 Rebirth Valkyrie Odyssey M, M is for mobile cross-platform mobile MMORPG. These anime MMORPGs, they are on the rise, right? And not counting the shit fest that is Diablo Immortals. The market is looking, uh, I mean, I guess there's, <laughs> there's a little bit of interest in it considering there are really just three games. However, my guys, do not fret. For today, I am bringing to you the Ni no Kuni Killer, the ender of Tower of Fantasy. And therefore, it is also a Genshin Killer because everything is a Genshin killer, but Tower of Fantasy in particular, am I right? T-Tiny Online Tower of Despair. Hey yo, that's a pretty nice ass though. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Lays. Today we're going to be talking about the Genshin killer, about the Tower of Fantasy killer, the Nino Kuni Ender. And my guys, the reason that we are not even in the game yet is because I wanted to show you guys the trailer. It is just, it is so freaking inspiring. But before we get there, I want you guys to notice this one over here. Start the PC version. And so yes, you might have noticed by now that there is a join in on the beta test right now. It is in CBT. All right, and so let's pop open that trailer. I want to show you guys something real quick because man, these guys are... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me. Tell me that this game is not worth playing. He's freaking. We've got a naked dude that just somehow got dressed as he jumped over a chasm. And yes, that is essentially what I wanted to show you guys uh, from the trailer. Let's get into the game. All right, so I have pre-downloaded all of the necessary files. And the first thing first, I want to show you guys, like, uh, look at that. Look at that freaking fine ass and that corgi running away. It's these freaking top tier graphics in 2022. I can already see Tower of Fantasy dying before even launching. Like, this boy is going to take the cake. So, my guys, like I said, this one is being published by Stove. Stove should be a very, very familiar name to you because they also are publishing Epic 7. Epic 7 is made by Smilegate, which uh, also did produce this T-Tiny online. All right lads and now i am in the character creation process this is um this is uh, <laughs> what the freak <laughs> can i look under uh, i don't think i can i don't think i can but holy moly what exactly is going on here can i make a can i make a waifu i like simping for myself you know what i'm saying and here we go this is the character creator i got the skin tone i've got the oh oh that's cool oh wow okay Okay, it's not every day you actually see like heavy armor for females, but that is actually pretty freaking sick. So from what I've seen about this game, the cool thing about it is that it is dependent on your weapon, right? So if you are equipping a sword, then you'll be a swordsman. If you have a staff, then you'll be a staff's man so yeah as you can see back to the character creation we have mainly two options face type and air type i know there's not really too many options but there's probably strength in the gameplay there's a there's a reason why this is going to be the tower of fantasy killer right so here we are finally in game we've got uh we've got a, a pretty average huh what what i Okay, whatever. There's my character, you know, I, I've made her to allow me to simp for her. And so whilst this cutscene is playing out, I do think, I, if I remember correctly, the story of this is essentially... Es hey, yo, that's gonna cost like about 120 bucks to fix that screen, dude. Better take better care of your phone, you know what I'm saying? What? That was a prime... That was a prime penny shot. What? Why would they not... Uh, whatever. Anyway, like I was trying to say, this is essentially like your SAO kind of progress through the floors and climb up the tower kind of thing. And so, yeah, I'm kind of keen to see what this has got. Okay, you know what? It's kind of funny so far. All right, so for movement, we've got two options. We've got WASD and then we've got click to move as well. Okay, let's move up to that. Oh my lord, she's massive. You know, this actually kind of feels like an MMO. So my dudes, it doesn't seem to be voice acting, but... Uh, I don't know what I expected from this freaking game. But let's go ahead and finish this quest. Oh! Oh, can I punch them? Oh, it's auto combat. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna click that button and then it's going to automatically slap them. What the frick is going on? So in terms of gameplay, this is very much more like your wow. You click, you got your target tab to select. And so therefore, I think I had it all wrong from the start. It's not going to be your Tower of Fantasy killer. It's not your Nino Kuni killer. It's very much going to be your WoW killer. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but like I see a 5 star plus 13 weapon. It's almost like it's endgame gear. Well, it looks like it anyway. So, you know what? I'm going to finish this quest real quick and let's see how this goes. Holy crap. I think she actually just gave me that big ass sword. What the frick? Yeah, I'll take it. All right, so it looks like we're going to be going into our first boss battle. Uh... Oh, that was kind of cool. Okay, well, I guess this is going to be the peak combat. I'm just going to click attack, and then I'm going to click this skill whenever I can. 
well. Can I just do once? Okay. Oh god, I think everybody's kind of getting whacked out. Oh, there goes my sword. Hey. What the frick? Why am I naked now? This is, um, this is some crazy. I am just so confused about this game. <laughs> but all right, you know what? I'll freaking take it. Let's, uh, let's go talk to the bunny and, mm. okay. All right. So it looks like we've actually unlocked a whole bunch of different icons, a whole bunch of different systems. Let's have a look. I want to see if I can turn this up to 60 FPS because 30 FPS do kind of be kind of cringe. And there we have it. We got the 60 FPS option. I want to crank that up. We're going to go into high graphics level. Wow, it actually, it's actually kind of good. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my lord. Dude, this actually looks like a completely different game. I wouldn't say that the graphics are as good as Nino Kuni, but that's actually very, very impressive. Dude, what is that thing? Oh my lord. It even has depth of field. Okay, you know what? I am actually, I'm actually impressed. I'm very, very impressed with what I'm seeing right now, which is kind of weird. All right, my guys. So this is the peak combat of T-Tiny. And what I have discovered is that we do have auto loot. So if they drop anything on the ground, it goes straight onto me. I don't know, I feel like some of the modern MMOs kind of need to take notes. Oh, and I just realized they took away all of my gear, including my school uniform. That's, that's, that's kind of weird, dude. What the frick? All right, so it looks like I've unlocked skills. Uh, charge, I mean, wait, of course we unlock skills. Be, what kind of MMO doesn't have skills? What the frick? All right, so maybe I can use... Oh, my lord! Wait, that's actually kind of cool. All right, so it does look like there are a couple of issues to iron out. You know, it's in CBT. I do give them that. But essentially, what's happening now is that I am being given four different weapons, and I can test them all out to see which one I like the most. All right, so she's given me a fl flower, a red blossom wand, a log piece, and a hunter's bow. So let's give the, each of these a shot. So I'm using the flower right now, and my skill one has changed to a fireball. All right, let's uh, hit the auto button and see how this goes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. You know what? I'll take that. That's actually really cool. All right, next I've equipped a wooden log. Um, let, let's see how this one goes. Let's hit the auto button. And I think it's like wind based. Oh, maybe it's like buffs. It's doing significantly less damage than the mage one. And then lastly, we've got the bow. So I've got a trap skill. Let's hit the auto button and see how this goes. Whoa. Oh, I actually like all of these weapons. See? seem kind of cool like look at that bind we've got the immobilize there all right and so it looks like this is going to be our first actual boss not one that we just get freaking insta gived by i'm gonna turn on the auto this is hopefully gonna immobilize and let's move back and kite a bit yeah wow this is actually kind of good uh can i can i kind of run again all right ah! oh oh we can dodge we can do the dodge yeah boy it'll work i can't really tell I gotta say, I'm not sure about this archer life. I think I like that flower a little bit more. Okay, and so it looks like we are about to climb the tower. However, I want to click this world map because you can actually get a view of the tower. So I'm currently outside. And so here is the tower itself. It looks like we're going to go up to like maybe... How many floors have we got? Maybe 30, 31 floors? And so for every single floor, it looks like there is an inner and outer tower. Honestly, it's kind of interesting. But that may just be the SAO fanboy in me talking, so yeah. Okay, so we've actually arrived into the tower itself. I don't really see anything going on here. Okay, so as far as I can tell, it just kind of looks like there's a different variety of mobs. Maybe more like dungeon tower based imps, which is kind of one of your classical monsters. Ooh, all right, this is interesting. Bosses appear regularly. Only characters who arrive in the boss room can take turns challenging the boss. All right, I'm freaking keen. Let's freaking go. All right, my guys, so in about 14 seconds, this boss is going to be unveiled from that blue box over there, I think. And I've found myself a little party member, so we can go and try to uh, kill this fuller boss. All right, one second left, zero seconds, and... Hey, what's happening? Oh, okay, I guess we're just, we're just getting teleported over there. All right, let's go. Let's fight this boss. Oh, let's go. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit laggy, but it's all right. Okay, this is a little bit more exciting than all the imps and shit that we've been fighting, but let's see how this one goes. All right. I'm a ranged unit, so this is actually kind of good. i got an electric arrow now. Let's see how that plays out. Electric. Oh, no, not me. Not me. Not me. Why me? I should have freaking taken like my swordman class and taken a shield or something. It does look like we can kite them though, because <clears throat> the other guy is a healer slash- Oh no, no! 
Did I get hit? I didn't get hit. Oh my god. My freaking kiting skills is like 11 out of 10. Wait, is that... Is that Korean? And it seems this is what happens when we go to the next... What the frick? Alright, I'll take that. What's this chest? I want the chest. I gotta admit, and it's probably because that was the first floor boss, but that was a little bit, um, a little bit anticlimactic. And although I do like the concept, uh, it could get really frustrating if there's no one around you to play with. Hmm, I think Smilegate and Stove still have a little bit to work out, but I'm finally getting pants, guys. Alright, so honestly, I feel like I've actually reached the, the gameplay loop. Essentially, we're gonna be climbing the tower, we're gonna be killing the floor boss before we can progress to the next level, and then we're gonna be rinse and repeating until we can actually get to the top floor, claiming a whole bunch of rewards until then. We're also gonna have the very classical upgrade system where you've got your gears that can go up to like five stars or seven stars or whatever and you can actually plus three those gears as well or plus 15 very mmo-esque in terms of the game itself um it feels a little bit low quality at this point i have to admit it does feel like a watered down nino kuni i would probably play nino kuni and tower of fantasy over this however i do have to say this game is for some reason really really charming if you actually spend a little bit of time to read the dialogue and follow the story i would say that it's it's pretty nice it's almost like refreshing however in terms of the rest of the systems it is very much what you would expect from an mmo especially one that is on the phone you've got your compendium where you've got like your monsters the drops and all of that it does look like there is going to be a housing system which would be really freaking sick unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna make it there and then along the top we've got a whole bunch of different daily quests we've got weekly missions etc the guild dailies we've got the rewards down here we also have a cash shop up here in which you can probably purchase a few things however i do think reloading is not available right now so you see there update is pending in terms of other currencies outside of premium we've got gold and mana i know that the gold was used for upgrading equipment i'm not sure what this one is for mana with the power of magic that is used for materials for up i don't even know the english is as broken as my own and so yeah at this point you can almost chalk it up to like another one of your generic mmos but i I don't know. I feel like this would be quite fun if I had some friends to play with, which, I mean, you could say that about any game. And so therefore, could I recommend this game? I don't know about the long-term prospects, but in terms of like for honeymooning or for just like a short good time, I would say you give it a shot. It's, it's actually kind of fun. And it's, like I said, quite charming. On the other hand, however, I do think that maybe it's because I'm starving for an MMO and maybe that's why it's charmed me. So... There could be that possibility. All right, and so with that said, I finally found my character some pants and shirts. I think I can log off safely here. So we're gonna wrap it up. My guys, let me know how you feel about this MMORPG, how you feel about T-Tiny. I know it's not the uh, it's not the Tower of Fantasy killer. It's not the Nino Kuni killer that I did claim it was gonna be. And let me know if you are willing to give this one a shot. Like I said, the graphics aren't like overly bad. It's like, it's okay. It's almost acceptable for a phone game. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving one thank you guys so much if you did enjoy this video or found it kind of entertaining please consider leaving a like subscribing to the channel or even turning on that notification bell on but otherwise as another character that i created that i simp for aka simping for myself once said all good things must come to an end uh man wolfie come on man i'm just trying to log out bro so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye